Hey, hello everyone, this is Stuff. You're watching Stuff HD, and today we're going to be talking about NVIDIA's GeForce Now service. Alright, so what, what is NVIDIA's GeForce Now service? It is a video gaming service uh, where you play your games on basically any of your computers and everything all the heavy lifting is actually happening in a computer somewhere else like a server somewhere else so uh, this is not something new this has been going on for a while uh, Nvidia themselves have had this service for a while also they just had it for free because it was in beta and it is finally out of beta and it costs five bucks a month so um, but you know, the, the issue normally is the fact that, you know, you press a button on your controller or your keyboard or whatever and uh, you basically, you know, the, the, the signal has to go from your controller or keyboard to your router, to your ISP, to, <laughs> to the server and then the server has to perform the action, then it has to stream the video back to you and, you know, that, that takes time. <laughs> Uh, but amazingly, this tends to happen in like a fraction of a second. Uh, and it, it is impressive how quick they have managed to, to get it to happen. But, it, you know, reality is it has, it has to travel a long time. So, so for some games, this probably works okay. Like if you're a hardcore gamer who wants to be like, like uh, I don't know, wants to be top of the line. Um, you're probably not gonna want to use the service because you're probably gonna die a lot because your 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 action is gonna be a fraction of a second off. Um, now for for basic people who just want to play their regular games, it might actually be a pretty good um, a pretty good solution. So what am I doing here today? Uh, I have a 2017 MacBook Air, which it's not a gaming computer by any means. I cannot play any games on this thing. First of all, because it's a MacBook Air, and second of all, because it's a Mac. So, so I I normally play PC games, and and what I really enjoy about this Nvidia service is that you actually get to play your games, your games that you already own, because it is actually just creating a virtual computer with your information so that it can log into your steam account or or few other ones and and it just runs your games which is cool right i said that not all the games work <laughs> like originally i thought oh that's cool i should be able to play a little bit of fallout 4 again just to test uh and fallout 4 actually is in, in their list of games like if you go to to their list of games over here turn that off hold on turn that audio off Fallout 4 is in the list of games that you're supposed to be able to use uh, it says supported for GeForce Now for Mac beta um, but Fallout 4 is, is not a game that currently works on on GeForce Now if I if I go here and I search for Fallout these are the only Fallout games that, that are available now this does have a, a Steam thing where it basically runs Steam although you don't need to actually run Steam because it does it all in the background but it, it's got its own little Steam thing and I see my Fallout 4 on that Steam account but I can't install it you know <laughs> whenever I go to install it it says oh it's not supported so okay um, that kind of sucks but um, again this is a MacBook Air 2017 the battery life on this thing is amazing so you know to 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 think that i could play some of the games that that i really want to play and i could just take them uh i don't know to a starbucks somewhere like if i'm traveling uh, i don't have to bring my heavy uh uh gaming computer that one over there i don't have to bring that along i can just i can just bring this macbook air and be able to play some of those games it's pretty cool However, like I said, Fallout 4 didn't work, Killer Instinct didn't work, uh, none of the Tomb Raiders worked, a bunch of the games that I tried 
are not currently supported. Uh, now I'm hoping that they'll be able to to you know add more, but but it kind of kind of sucks right now, uh, to be honest. Uh, however, there's one saving grace on this on this thing, and it is this game right here, World of Warcraft. The fact that I would be able to play World of Warcraft on the go. <laughs> Um, it, it's pretty cool without having to again without having to 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 carry around that computer. So I figure we would we would give World of Warcraft a, a little try over here. So let me turn this on. And here's my my character. I do have a, a horde and a alliance, but this is my main character. I'm, I'm bored a little bit. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, and I went ahead and I left my character in, in one of the main places right now where there should be a lot of people. And again, remember that this is running on a computer somewhere else, so the loading time is actually even faster than if I was to run it on my computer here uh, because it is running on their computer. And this is basically what this looks like. What is it? That's not what I wanted. Beware I, I forgot to bring a mouse, fire. so I'm not trying to play this with a gamepad. I am listening. So let's do... Anybody on board knows that this is the part that sucks the most here. So right now I have the graphics all the way up. All the way up to 10. And, you know, everything is playing pretty smooth. Now in the in the past I did I did um, play this for a while on my other computer streaming it and you know there was lag every once in a while uh, but but it never got too bad and honestly playing the game on my computer it tends to be laggy anyway because it's World of Warcraft so <laughs> um, so so there's that so here I just arrived at the Please, and you know, for the most part, it's it's doing pretty good. Okay. Uh -oh. it, it's running pretty good, and again, it's it's a little weird because I'm using it with the mouse, but. Uh, it runs. It runs pretty good. Like if if you just have a few quests to do, you you want to be by yourself doing questing and stuff like that. This is a great solution. And again, like I said, it's five bucks a month. Um, it's not bad. It's really not bad. It is definitely worth checking out. Uh, it it might already support some of your favorite games, and you know maybe you're not hardcore enough where 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 you need. The, the the thing to be 100% lagless. Let me turn off the audio on that thing. I forgot to do that. Um, so so yeah, I think it's worth checking out. Um, so yeah, let me know if if you have any questions. If there's anything that I can answer for you, or if you have tried it. If you want to comment on on what your thoughts are of the of the thing. I will say that, like I said, this is not something new. Google has Google Stadia, which they tried doing. Uh, I don't know if I explained it already, but they they made it where it's a it's like a separate thing. Excuse me, it's like a separate platform. So if I have the game on my computer already, but I want to play on Google Stadia, I have to buy the game again, and that that's not fun. Um, PlayStation had something similar with PlayStation Now, I think they called it. And that one was kind of cool because uh, you could play a whole bunch of different games. That was more of a Netflix uh, of gaming, but only like PS1, PS2, PS3 games. And some PS4 games actually also. So not bad, but it was kind of expensive, so I didn't care for it. I think they lower the price now. I think it's 10 bucks a month? I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, this service... For me, particularly, uh, 
I, I, I love World of Warcraft and when I really get into it, I want to be able to play it anywhere. So uh, during those times, for sure, this will be worth five bucks a month. Uh, I'm already paying like 15 bucks a month for, for a while. So, you know, just add an extra five. And, uh, but sadly, other than that, I haven't found any of the, of, of the other games that I want to play on there. And, you know, since if they're having so many issues with Fallout 4, something tells me that, that you know, whenever the, the newest games come out, they're probably not going to be all that optimized yet. It, it might take a while. I could be wrong. Maybe maybe they'll work on those first. Who knows? Um, because I know uh, Cyberpunk is either coming out or it came out already, and that looked like an interesting game. Would be cool to be able to play it like this. Again, when traveling, going somewhere else. Like right now, I gotta go do laundry. So, <laughs> all right, I am gonna get out of here. Again, let me know if you have any questions, comments. Uh, you can write something on the comments. You can message me on Instagram or Twitter at Stuff Networks. And, you know, there's always the Stuff HD webpage where you'll find this video and other stuff. All right. I'm out of here. You all take care. Bye.